Hi guys, today's video is going to be my November favourites and I have tons of stuff. I must admit, some months I struggle, some months I kind of think, what have I really, really enjoyed? And um, that's kind of why I started doing the Currently Loving, because I, I wanted to be more spontaneous and be able to say in the middle of the month, these are a bunch of things that I'm really enjoying, I know that I really like these, rather than scramble around to think of the things that I've been loving. This month it was easy. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with some skincare. This Nivea Cleansing Cream Wash has been a real shocker. I wasn't really expecting to love it. The reason I picked it up was because I'm always running out of cleanser. I, have, I like a hot cloth cleanser, either a balm or a cream, and I really struggle to find one at the supermarket where I pick up a lot of the stuff that I need to replace on a regular basis, like deodorant, razors, if I need a body moisturiser I can get it there, I can get a facial moisturiser there, everything you can get there if you need it, apart from cleansers, there's a lot of uh, micellar waters, there's a lot of face wipes, there's a lot of cream cleansers that you have to use with cotton wool, um, there are now more and more oil cleansers, but you don't get a lot of these that you're supposed to use with hot water. And so this is one of maybe two that I've been able to find. Uh, the other one is a really nice one that's going to be in my empties by Enspa, uh, which is an Asda brand. But this, when I was in Morrison's, I'm looking around and thinking, oh, what options are there? There really are very, very limited options uh, when you're in the supermarket. And this is a really, really nice one. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not this, I'm sure this is supposed to be for women. I was just looking at it thinking, maybe it's like a male thing. No, I don't think it is. Because uh, I know that we now have the shaving balm. The facial shaving balm for men is now in the women's section because so many people are using it as a primer. They've obviously cottoned on to more and more women looking for it. So they've actually put that in the female skincare section now as well. Um, but this, just amazing. Just as good as any other hot cloth creamy kind of cleanser it's like a like that you know like a, it's a cream cleanser it's not it's very very basic but it does the job and i want to mention it purely because that was something that i really struggled to find all the time it's kind of like if you had to order in razors imagine if you just couldn't pop out to the shop and get razors or deodorant it's a really bizarre thing that no one ever talks about i feel like this is ne i've never heard anyone else say they struggle to find cleanser maybe because i always allow myself to run out and nobody else does, but is it just me? I don't know. Let me know if you know of something that I'm completely missing. Uh, another skin, well not skin, but bath and body care. This I haven't used in a year. This is the Laura Mercier um, Body and Bath Ombre Vanille Honey Bath, and it came with, where is it? This, which I just found moments ago. Um, speaking of razors, I've been using the end of a razor to, to dip this out and put it underneath my tap because I couldn't find this. Um, so I'm glad to have it now. This I've had for a year because I got it in a Christmas set from Laura and it's beautiful, it smells amazing, but I never really was super excited about this one. I was excited about the uh, body care, oh this one in fact, it's in front of me as well. I was excited about this, the body lotion, the moisturiser. Um, I was excited about the shower gel because that's easy to use and of course the perfume that came in the gift set, but this was not something that I was reaching to use and so I thought it's Christmas, it's come around, I can replace this really easily if I really like it because it'll be in the sale almost certainly. This is awesome. If you are looking to treat yourself or someone else this Christmas, this, I, I just love the smell of anything in this ombre vanille range. Um, but this scents the entire house. This is kind of the same lines of the aromatherapy oils and a bath oil. It's a really nice fragrance. I can't tell you if it's anything amazing bubble bath wise um, or if it makes my skin feel really nice. All the other products from the Laura Mercier range do, but this is bubble bath. I don't know, but it smells really, really good. So if you want a treat, the bath set is awesome. I don't know whether or not I'd go out and buy this on its own, um, but if you are looking at it and thinking I'll never use the bubble bath, it actually is really, really nice. Uh, something else that I use at a similar time is this L'Oreal, what is it called, Expert Nutrifier. This I believe is a new system, it's got shampoo, conditioner, uh, I was going to say mousse, that's not right, mask, um, and it's got this and I think like a CC cream or something for your hair, I'm not entirely sure how that works, like a, something like a serum for the ends I think. This I've been really enjoying because it's got um, heat protectant in it, so when I wash my hair, this is a weird thing maybe, but when I wash my hair, this is a beauty of having short hair, I wash it at night time, towel dry it, I'll put a little bit of something in my hair, a serum, a heat protectant, something, and then um, I brush it through, put it in a ponytail and go to sleep. And the next day, 
if I want to do something with it, I either spritz it with some water and blow dry it, or I will straighten the top bits and just kind of mess it up and hope the best. Most of the time I do nothing with it at all, but if I want to, the next day I do. It's not very often that I will blow dry or straighten my hair all the way from wet to dry in one sitting. I let it dry naturally first, and this has been really nice for that, because a lot of those heat protectant sprays that I use make my hair feel a little bit crispy if I don't dry it straight away, or they make it feel a little bit almost not clean. Um, but this I use a tiny, tiny amount. It's almost like a cream oil. Um, have you ever tried that? The Sanctuary body oil that's actually like a cream, a creamy body oil or something? Very, very nice product. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I might need to go and buy that again. Uh, but it kind of reminds me of that, but for my hair. So immediately it melts onto my hands as I use it. And I use a tiny, tiny bit just through the ends, maybe the lengths a little bit. Um, and it, the size of this is going to last me forever because my hair is so short. Uh, but I've been really, really enjoying that. Something I rediscovered this month, this perfume. This perfume was something that I wanted to buy. I'm just going to put some on right now. Um, I wanted to buy this perfume when I worked for Urban Decay. I think I talk about working for Urban Decay a lot. Uh, and it was like, this is such a short period of time. Um, but I worked there, oh, it must have been over a Christmas period of... 2010 um, and I always remember that time because it's around the time that I started my YouTube channel I've been on YouTube about six months and so it's kind of a real nostalgic time for me uh, and I worked next to the Givenchy counter I used to go and spritz this on myself all the time and I can't remember how much it was but I couldn't afford it and it seemed really expensive and extravagant and I was never gonna buy it and obviously it's a little bit cheaper now because it's like six years old um, but I really really love it just as much now as I did then and I purchased this or maybe they purchased it for me, I forget. Um, either this trip, just gone, or the previous trip when we went to America because he got it in duty free. It smells so nice and it's such a perfect winter fragrance. It's very heavy um, and sweet, but not kind of candy sweet. It's got, um, I don't know, it's a bit more grown up than just kind of like sugary sweet. It's really, really nice. I can't describe it at all. I'm terrible. Uh, but look it up. It's so nice and no one, again, no one mentions that and it's a lovely, lovely perfume. Two lipsticks that I've been really enjoying wearing since my autumn lipstick video. I pulled a load of different ones out and was wearing them and picking which ones I liked the best. And these were the ones that I pulled out after that to wear most often. Um, one is this Maybelline Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in Keep It Classy. This lasts a really long time. I don't think I've ever really taken notice of how long it could last in the past. <clears throat> got a bit of a sore throat and that perfume's got <laughs> right into my dry throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever really noticed how long it lasts before, but it really, really does. I wore it for an entire day of work and it was barely wearing away, eating, drinking and all that um, after at least seven hours at work. Really, really nice product I mentioned before. Not every single one of these um, is exactly the same formula, but this one specifically is a really, really nice one. Uh, and the other one is Max Plumful. Now, I have a feeling this is dying a death because it's got that, like, white... What is that? That's not good, is it? That probably needs to be replaced. Um, but I've been really, really enjoying wearing that, and I wore that to work the other day, and someone said, I really like the lipstick you're wearing. And in theory, it's such a blah colour, but... There you go, I think it's just super autumnal. Um, the other lipstick products I wanna mention are the new matte, what are they called, from Rimmel. The only one matte lipsticks. These are amazing, love the formula of these. Very, very opaque, very comfortable to wear, but they do dry and I feel like um, they're a little bit more budge proof than your average comfortable modern matte. And there's tons and tons of different colors for these as well. I really, really like them. The colors that I've got here are 500, which is called Take the stage. It's kind of like a raspberry red. And um, Trendsetter, which is 700, which I wore in uh, Get Ready With Me recently. Like it a lot. Uh, the other colour product that I've been using is this jelly from Barry M. I was like, mm, I could have just read the bowl, Barry M. It's what I'm wearing right now and what is horribly chipped and needs to be repainted. I really like this. It's a really nice alternative to bright red if you feel like you're not... I mean, this is like an orangey red and I've gone for a pinky red and a pinky red. Super clashing going on. Uh, but if you are more this than this, this is a really nice alternative to red at this time of year. And it's not 
so dark that it gives you that almost black on your fingernails, super dark red. It's a really, really pretty raspberry colour. Again, what colour is this? Pomegranate. This is a really, really pretty pomegranate colour. Uh, and the last product after what feels like an epic favourites video is the OPI Avoplex. I haven't heard anyone mention this before. I bought this in a set with um, Nail Envy because I was trying to grow out my nails last month and um, they were flaking and stuff all over the place. So I thought, right, okay, in the new year, I'm gonna try and grow my nails because my nails grow quite fast, but they split and they're not great. I've just realized this, is, this does not stay closed. I always think when I pick it up, I must not have closed it because I had oil over, all over my hands, but no, it's really not very tight, that, and for an oil, not ideal. Anyway, um, I can't remember where I read about it, but I decided to get the set rather than just Nail Envy. And this is actually the product of the two that I've been really, really enjoying. I think has made the most difference to my nails. Don't bring me now, don't you know I'm filming a video? Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it <laughs> for this video. Uh, the, the biggest difference this made, by the way, was my cuticles. I don't know whether or not it's actually helping to strengthen my nails at all, um, but my cuticles have never looked better. But yeah, that is it for my monthly favorites. The only other thing, I would say that's it for my beauty favorites, the only other thing that I still cannot get enough of are audiobooks. I'm listening to them constantly. I'm currently listening to um, I think it's Scrappy Little Nobody. I'll show you what it is. Um, you know, all those years of people talking about Audible, all those sponsorships, and I completely ignored it. If anything, it made me not want to do anything to do with Audible because everyone talks about it, but it's actually really, really Jerk for feeling superior. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm listening to. Anna Kendrick, Scrappy Little Nobody. Oh, and there's a candle that I really like as well at the moment. Yankee Candle Frankincense. I don't know if this came back this year or if it's even a Christmas scent, but I bought it last year and I really, really like it. It is, mm, it's like if you went to church at Christmas, that's what it would smell like. Uh, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> My manic, crazy favorites. Why can I never just have a normal conversation? It's always so hyper. Oh, it's only gonna get worse. I mean, I'm filming a lot of these videos in advance just in case, um, but as as is, I'm still in that, am I going to move or not? And once I find out, I'm either going to go way down, I'm going to take a big nosedive of like, I'm so depressed that I'm not moving after getting so excited about it, or I'm going to get super hyper because I'm moving in such a short space of time. So just prepare yourselves because I'm, it's going to go one way or another and you're all going to experience it with me. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. I've said that's it about 14 times and it really is it this time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.